Thank you everyone so much uh, for joining the Canadar in online booking webinar. Welcome, my name is Melissa and I will be today's facilitator. Feel free to type in any questions or concerns that come up in the Q&A chat section. Uh, Cynthia has joined us today as a panelist, so she will be available to answer any concerns that come up. At the end of the webinar, we will also be addressing some questions. All right, let's get started. So our main goal for this webinar is to show you the show you how to manage your calendar and online book, booking features quickly and efficiently. Here we have an overview of what we will be reviewing throughout this webinar. We'll get started with how to book, cancel, and reschedule appointments, how to set up online booking. Then we will review how to link notes and billing transactions to calendar events. And lastly, how to print your appointment schedule. So let's get started with how to book an appointment in Luminello. To book an appointment in Luminello, you can click on the calendar tab. This is located in your left menu. This is built to function just like Google Calendar meaning that all you have to do is click anywhere on the calendar and that's how you begin to create an appointment. So after you have clicked on a date and time, you will be prompted to this screen to add all the necessary information for this appointment, uh, such as the patient's name. Will this be a patient appointment or a non-appointment like a lunch break, for example? Once you're ready, click on the orange create event button and the appointment will be created in your calendar. If booked this way, the system will use your calendar default for reminders and others. All right. If you want to edit an event, uh, you will see much more options such as whether you would like to send a confirmation and reminder email to the patient and family members, and how long before the appointment would this reminder be set? You can also set it so that an auto reminder is sent to you sometime before the appointment. Here you can display a comment along with the appointment in the patient's portal. You can do so by writing um, a comment here and clicking on the display in portal box. Once you're done setting up your appointment details, you can click on submit to create your event in your calendar. How to cancel an appointment. If you create an appointment and need to cancel it later in the future, it's very easy to do so in Luminello. All you have to do is click on the event that you would like to cancel and click on cancel. You will be prompted to a confirmation screen for you to confirm that you want to cancel this appointment. Click on yes, cancel, and the appointment will be canceled. Now, if you would like to notify your patient of this cancellation, you would click on cancel and notify instead. On the confirmation screen, you would click on yes, cancel. The appointment will be canceled and a cancellation email will be sent to the patient. Now let's review how to reschedule an appointment. So from your calendar tab, go to the appointment that you would like to reschedule and click on the orange edit button. You will be prompted to another screen. Here you can edit the appointment details such as the appointment type, date, time, and length. You can even change the patient's name here. If you booked this appointment for this patient but later realized that you meant to book this appointment for a different patient, you can edit the event and change the patient's name. Scrolling down, you will see more options. You can check or uncheck the appointment confirmation and reminder emails that are sent to the patient and yourself. Here you can also edit the notes that you would like displayed in the portal if applicable. Once you're done, to save your changes, click on submit and your changes will be saved 
and you would be taken back to your calendar screen. All right, our next topic is how to set up online booking in Luminello. Setting up online booking would allow your patients to book appointments on their own if you have enabled them the permission to do so on your end. Here you can also set up your appointment types, duration, and other settings that we will be reviewing together. To get to the online booking section in Luminello, you can click on online booking. This is located in your calendar tab. To enable online booking, you can go where it says allow online booking and turn that feature on. To disable it, you can turn it off. The allow reschedule and cancellation setting would enable your patients to reschedule or cancel an online appointment. You can enable or disable this setting according to your preferences. The notify me when an online appointment is booked setting is to enable the system to send you a notification when a patient books an appointment on their end. This option, notify me when an online appointment is canceled or rescheduled, is to enable the system to send you a notification when a patient cancels or reschedules an appointment. This setting can be enabled only if you allow reschedules and cancellations for online appointments. So the online allow online reschedule and cancellation needs to be turned on in order for you to enable this option, notify me when an online appointment is canceled or rescheduled. All right, scrolling down, we have cutoff setting. This means that no appointments will be offered, even if they are available until the amount of time in the future that you set in the settings page has been met. For example, if your patient logs in on a Monday and the cutoff time is set to two days, they will not see any appointments available until Wednesday at the earliest, even if you do have appointments available. The how far out setting, oh my bad, the how far out setting indicates how far in the future your schedule can be booked. One year means that patients will see any openings for the end year. If that's too far out, you can change it to 30 days or lower. It really depends on what type of practice you have and how much flexibility you have for your patients to have over your calendar. Scrolling down, you will find more online booking settings. These settings are appointment types. Here you can create as many appointment types as you would like and customize it by adding a title and a time frame. Basically, uh, these appointment types is, um, are what your patients would see when booking an online appointment on their end. All right, then we have padding. Padding is a time frame added at the end of an appointment that is for note writing, bathroom breaks, and other activities. Patients do not see this on their end. However, padding does get added to the length for the total duration that Luminello uses to display available appointment types. For example, if a patient books an online consultation appointment, they will see a length of 30 minutes. Keep in mind that the actual duration for this appointment would be 25 minutes and five minutes for padding. Here we have the cancellation policy. This is a message that will display to patients when booking, rescheduling, or canceling an online appointment. Once you're done setting up your online booking settings, click on the orange save button and that's it. Your online booking settings will be saved. Online booking defaults. In this section, we will review the different ways you can enable online booking for your patients. This can be done individually for each patient and practice-wide for all your patients. So to enable online booking practice-wide, you can go to your charts menu and then click on settings. Here you can set the default settings for your charts practice-wide. Scroll down to portal permission defaults for new charts and make sure that the online booking box is checked. 
If you wish to set up online booking for patients individually, you can go to this patient's chart and then click on profile. You would scroll down to the portal per permissions for this patient and click on online booking to enable it for this particular patient. Now, if you wish to enable online booking for a family member, you need to click on family info and then scroll down to the portal permissions, make sure that the online booking permission is set and that's it. Online booking will be enabled for this family member. Once you have enabled online booking for a patient, they can go to their schedule tab to book an online appointment. Click on the orange book new appointment button located to the right hand side and the patient would be prompted to select the provider location and type of and duration for their appointment. Then they would click on show available times. The times that you have set up for online booking in your calendar will display for the patient to choose their most convenient date and time. When done, they would get a screen where they can confirm the appointment details, then click on confirm and book to schedule the appointment. The patient will get a confirmation message that the appointment has been scheduled and they can find the appointment by going to their schedule tab. If they want to authorize the clinician's name, to show up in the appointment reminder that the patient will be receiving from Luminello, they can go to their account tab and from there, click on the checkbox below communication preferences, which states, I consent to receive unencrypted notifications via email that reveal the provider's identity. Once this box is checked, your name will start showing up on the reminder emails. Luminello would send them for upcoming appointments. All right, let's take a look at the calendar settings. In your calendar settings, you can color code your appointments, name your calendars, set a default time for appointments, enable or disable appointment confirmation and reminder notifications, among other settings. To get to your calendar settings screen, you can go to calendar and from there click on settings. In the nickname section, you can set a nickname for each of your calendars. The nickname would only show up on your end, meaning that patients will not see this. The display in calendar box, you would check this box if you would like to display this calendar in your own calendar. So when you go to your calendar tab, you would see the calendars that you, that you have marked here as display in calendar. The display in portal section is for you to check the calendars you would like displayed on the patient's portal side. When they go to book an appointment, these are the calendars that they would see. The name displayed in portal slash online booking is where you would set up the names that you would like displayed for the calendars in your patient's portal. So when they go to book an appointment, they would see these names displayed and the choose color section, you would be able to color code your appointments. So when an appointment is booked under a particular calendar, it would be easy for you to um, recognize them by its chosen color. All right, so once you're done editing your calendar settings, click on the save button to save the settings. If you scroll down, you will see more calendar settings. Here, under send appointment confirmation and auto reminders, you would be able to enable or disable these confirmation and reminders. In appointment duration, you can select a default duration for future appointments. Display calendar in time increments, you would select uh, the amount, if it's either every five minutes or every, thir every 30 minutes. There is more um, time increments. There's one hour, one hour, 15 minutes. So this would be determined by you. 
um, and how many increments you would like your calendar to display the times. All right, uh, show daily calendar time range. This is for you to set the times that you would like displayed in your calendar every day. So if your business hours are from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., you would select it here so it would display only 8 from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day. If you would like to display an appointment comment in your patient's portal, you would check this box. The comment would be written while the appointment is being scheduled. You check this box so that whenever you go to book an appointment, you would have the comment box for you to display a comment for this appointment. All right, then we have the log days of week at, top of, at the top of the screen. This is pretty much self-explanatory. It would log the days of the week at the top of your calendar screen. So you would always know the day that you're working on while scheduling events in your calendar. Once you're done setting up your calendar settings, click on save. And that's it. Our next topic is how to link notes and billing transactions to calendar events. This can be done with new and existing notes and billing transactions. You can link a new note to an appointment by going to the patient's chart entries and clicking on compose notes under entries. Then you can click on the link to an appointment section and select the appointment that you would like to link the note to. If you click clone note from the calendar or dashboard, you will see that the note is pre-linked. And just in case you didn't link an appointment while you were writing the note, you can go back to the chart dashboard and link an existing note to a calendar appointment. To do this, you can go to the patient's chart entries, click on the dropdown next to the note that you would like to link, and click on link to appointment. You will be prompted to select an appointment date and time to link this note to. Keep in mind that the appointments displayed here are appointment scheduled for this particular patient. Once you have selected the appointment, click on the orange link button and this, uh, this note will be linked to this appointment you will notice a check mark is added to the appointment. This means that the appointment is successfully linked to a note. All right, so if you, if you have linked a note by date, when writing it, you will also link the billing. However, in the event that that didn't happen, to link an existing billing transaction to a calendar appointment, you can go to the patient's chart and from there, click on the billing tab. Here, you would click on the drop down next to the billing transaction that you would like to link to an appointment and select edit from the drop down. You will be prompted to edit this billing transaction. From here, you can choose the appointment that you would like linked to this billing transaction. Once you have selected an appointment, click on update and that's it. Your billing transaction will be successfully linked to the appointment selected. You can confirm that your billing transaction has been successfully linked to this appointment by going to the calendar event. You will notice a dollar sign next to the appointment. All right, uh, so to link a new billing transaction to an existing appointment, you will do so while creating the billing transaction. Under the um, link to an appointment dropdown, select an existing appointment, and then click on add transaction. And that's it. Your billing transaction will then be added and linked to the appointment selected. Let's review now how to print your appointment schedule. In your calendar section, click on list view. A print button will appear. This is available only from list view. So once you click on calendar, go to the list view tab and you will be able to see a print button. Once you click print, 
you would be prompted to select either a printer or save this appointment schedule as a PDF. And that's it. All right, we have arrived at the question section. We will be taking a look at the Q&A chat section to see if there, if there are any questions. However, if you don't have any questions as of right now, it's totally okay. Um, I will be sending you this recording to your email. You can review it later on. And if any questions come up, you can send us an email. Our support email is support at luminello.com. Again, that email is support at luminello.com. All right. I don't see any questions in the Q&A chat section. Oh, I see one, hold on. Okay. Can patients see our calendars if we select view in portal? Oh, Cynthia is typing in an answer. <laughs> okay, great. Cynthia will be um, answering that. Thank you so much, Cynthia. If you have any other questions, feel free to type them in now. If not, uh, you can always send us an email later on. Let's wait just one second for Cynthia to reply. Great answer, Cynthia. Thank you so much. All right. Um, I don't see any more questions. Feel free to send us an email again if any questions come up in the future. That being said, I want to thank you everyone for joining. It was certainly a pleasure conducting the webinar, and I hope that you guys liked it. Uh, thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.